Hey, this is Sofle Varu from LinkedInRef.com and it's time for another view request. And this time it's the Family Guy theme song. Now, I've arranged this fingerstyle arrangement of the song, um, especially for you guys and girls. So first I'm going to play it for you and then we're going to break it down lick by lick. Slowly, I'm going to show you exactly how it's done so you don't have to worry. I'm going to show you everything with tabs down here on the screen, which you can download later from the website. And um, you're going to know how to play it, I promise. So first, I'm going to demonstrate it, and then right on to the lesson. It goes like this. Okay, so uh, what's going on here? This is a jazzy song. That means a lot of chords. Now, I've made this arrangement to be a chord melody arrangement, meaning that it's basically chords moving around, just like this. Okay, it's just a chord moving around. Um, it's D7 and then it's E7. So you begin with D7, as I said, and you don't need the entire chord. You don't need to do this, okay? Because you don't need to to change the bass around. That's important. You need the bass to stay put. So what you do is you leave the D bass open and you just uh, press half of the chord. You just uh, you bar three strings on five and you add the F sharp note, okay? On at seven on the B string. So you've got this compact D7 chord and you just move it around one fret back and back to five. Five, four, five. Okay? And that way the bass stays put. So now you understand the concept of chord melody. Now, the next chord is E7, and you do it like this. Okay, this is E7, because this is D7, and you take it to E, two frets above. So, the E bass. Again, it's 4, 3, 4. Pretty simple, up to here. Okay? First two lines. Now, the third one is even easier. It's just... Okay, it's E minor. And the melody is... Okay, you can even put a zero in front of it. Now, you can do whatever you like with this one. You can just... Uh, you can play the chord once. Or you can just play the chord all the way through. Okay, it's just uh, just three, two, and five. And then D7 again. Now the melody includes an open E string. So <clears throat> up till now we've had D7 twice, E7, and E minor. So I bet that it's a lot simpler than you thought, so far. So... Now, G, okay, uh, with the D note, then open B string, then you take this up a fret to four. And you play this, and then open E string. So it's G, G and D. It's a D note, I mean. It's the G, it's, it's the E string and the B string. It's G and D. 
and then it's G sharp and D sharp. Okay, and then it's D. You can also play a D7 here. And then it's B flat 13. It's this. It's 7 on the bass, 7 on the D string, 8 on the G string, 8 on the B string. And you need to bar the 7th fret because you need to uh, play this little lick. Turn it into just a simple B7. Okay, it's B13, B flat 13, and then a B7. So next line, um, it's E7, and you don't need to put the entire E7. You can leave this off and just put one and three because you need this finger for the F sharp note that's gonna come in a second. Okay, it's E7, simple E7, and then F sharp and E, two and zero on the E string, and then three and zero on the B string. And then it's A7, but you play it like this, five on the E string, two on the B string, open G string, okay, because this is A, and this is A as well, and this is A7, so we just combine the three and create this. Now this wouldn't be possible if we needed to play this because we've got the open D string and that doesn't fit. But we don't have to play it, so we can play it like this. If we had to play the D, uh, the D uh, string, we'd have to turn it into, a, to turn the A7 into an A. And then we'd lose the jazzy sound. The jazzy sound is the seventh note. So, uh, again, from the beginning, okay, D7, E7, E minor, D7, G, G sharp, D or D7, B flat 13 to B7, E7, A7. Okay, now for the chorus. The chorus actually begins with a difficult kind of lick because um, it's uncomfortable. It's this G. Okay, it's three on the bass and seven on <laughs> the treble. Um, so it's this one. And the line is... So it's seven, six, seven, nine. And you need to do all that with the pinky. And then, ten, here. And again, a G sharp bass note, because this is not a bass sound but it's but it's the G sharp it's this again it's it's this move again only in a different context so okay so it's six on the D string and ten on the E string and you can't really play anything else but these two because these two strings will sound really weird. So, um, and then it's nine and seven. 
and then we're back to normal chords again, thank god, and this time it's just a D. It's 5, 7, and 7 with the open D string. And then it's B uh, minor 7, which means that this time you pick the E bass and strings B, G, and D. Okay? For that 7th note again. Um, again. Now, it's um, G, again, 3-2-3-2 three, two, three, two on the E string, then it's A7 and a high A. It's A7, just 3, 2, and 2 with the open A string. Then it's uh, F sharp minor seven, so you don't need to uh, you don't need to put any other fingers except for the barring finger, and it's this. Okay. This is again the seventh note, and then it's a B minor seven. And because uh, you want a smooth transition, you just pick strings E, G, and A, still barring the second fret. And this is B minor 7, because in B minor 7, you've got 2, 2, and 2. finger anything else okay um, again and then you just play the G note on three on the E string I hope you're following um, I know this is a lot to take in but just sit with the tabs and you'll see it's it's not easy I know it's not I'm having kind of a difficult time here as you can see but um, you can learn it. You can learn everything if you just have a little patience and learn it. Just lick by lick, bar by bar, chord by chord, you'll get it down eventually. So, okay, the B minor 7, and then E minor 7, kind of the same line. Okay, just like... This time it's just two frets back. And then again F sharp minor for a second there. And then B minor. And then a high E7. Just like you, ju just in the same shape that you did the D7 at the beginning. It's E7. This time instead of a 5, it's on 7. That's all. So it's. B minor, E7, and then it's A, B flat, or A sharp, and then that annoying G shape, and then A7 shaped like a D7 on 9, okay, you're almost done, and then a D which is barring the 7th fret and your pinky on 10. Okay? And you finish on D. Don't play this. Play a D5 at the end there. Okay? Um, again, just the chorus. So... D, B minor 7, and then it's G, A7, e, um, 
F sharp minor seven, B minor seven, E minor seven, F sharp minor again for a second, B minor, E seven, A, A sharp, G, A seven, okay, D seven shape, at nine, and D. And you're finished. You're finished watching this video. I'm sure you're just beginning to practice this. So before you go practice, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to keep updated. I upload a new lesson every couple of days or so. So why not just click subscribe, keep updated and learn more free guitar. And please, if you enjoyed this lesson, uh, please share it. Share it with your friends, your enemies, your dogs, your mates, your soul mates, your leg mates, whatever, whomever you want to share it with, just share it. Everybody can benefit. These lessons are free and will always be free. Um, so if you can help me teach more people, I'd be forever grateful. So you can send me requests as usual. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, you go practice this now, get it under your fingers and have fun with this one. It's a really fun piece. It's a cool song. Um, I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching.